leaving the radio station. Well, one interview, you know what I'm saying? We got another one. You can be a cat from Detroit exactly. and go national, you know, like we're meeting right now. Are you on Facebook, Twitter, that kind of stuff? Yes. How can people connect? Yes, I am. You can um, go straight to Facebook.com and backslash GB Cortez McGee. Um, you can also hit me up on YouTube. Same thing. Search GB Cortez McGee. You can see all my videos, hear all my music, um, and you can, you can get right to me. That's I run my Facebook page. You know, that's me. I mean, all the energy you put in, is it worth it to you? Is it panning out the way you want it to? Yes, or? sir. I'm here in Cincinnati talking to you, right, and I right. straight from Facebook. You right, know what I'm saying? I just right. I, I start hitting people up throughout the social networks, and now I'm here. What type of music is it, man? I mean, is it... Uh, <coughs> How would you describe it? It's 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 feel good hip hop music. You know, some 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 are party joints, some situational, you know, relationship joints. But for the most part, it's, it's just it's organic, and I don't really <clears throat> write. I know a lot of artists seem to say nowadays since Jay Z, they don't write that. I really don't write my own lyrics. I mean, I don't write lyrics. I just go off of what I feel from my heart. So you don't write anything down? No. Yeah, well, I appreciate the hustle, man. I really do. I appreciate you having me. Yeah. It's a blessing. Not a problem, man. And I got the word. I'm like, yeah, most definitely. Okay, why don't we? Why don't we? Why don't we throw one of his tracks on? <coughs> so on the on the on the on. Uh, so like like under as you rap and people can actually hear uh, yeah. what you do. All right. <coughs> so now, GB, you're in Cincinnati. There's something going on, right? You got you you you're gonna be, you're gonna be performing yes, tonight. Yes, I'm performing at a place that they call the uh, funeral home. Okay. Oh my. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I have to kill it. So. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah, I'm, I'm performing at the um at the funeral home around 10:30 this evening. Okay. And it's it's going to be a wonderful experience. The people of Cincinnati and Xavier University is gonna see a real live energy. From your boy GB. Okay, now do you run with anybody else? Are you solo? I'm solo. Okay, <coughs> all right, sir. all right. Now, now you are from Detroit. Now, this is originally from Detroit. Born and raised Six in Detroit. Mile, Detroit, West Side, Detroit, Michigan. Man, y'all got some wild politics happening in Detroit. Yes, we do. Because you know we talk about <laughs> politics here. Yeah, yeah. I'm very, very familiar with the with the uh, political scene, not just in, in, in Detroit, but uh, across the board. I, I study politics heavy, you know, and yeah. it's important and, and it matters in everyday life, you know. Now, I have to tell you, man, we got to make sure that we get young people out to vote That's because there's a big presidential election happening in yes. 2012, right? It's coming sooner than... Boom, 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 boom. Speed. What, what would you say to young people listening to you right now about the importance of voting? Well, first of all, the young people are the future, and they need to understand politics and how it affects their everyday life. And if they don't get out there and put let their voices be heard, then it can, it can definitely be a, a terrible situation. Now, a lot of young people and a lot of older people, they say things like, now, you just rap to me, they'll say, hey, my vote doesn't count. You know, what's up? I mean, that, that frame of mind, my vote doesn't count. That's like, you know, giving up before you even try. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's, you might as well not even be around. You know, you have the opportunity to let your voice be heard, and you neglect that, then you just put yourself in a hole because you never know what can come out of your one vote. You know, it can be a swing vote situation. You never know. That may happen, and how, your one vote can do something. How do you mix with the electronic scene in Detroit? Um... You mean as far as like the elect house music yeah. and things like that? Well, yeah. that's another genre of music, and sometimes I add those elements into my music because I also produce my own music. So I, I worked at a club in Detroit called Club Blue, and they specialize in house music. So being in there, hearing that music all the time, it, it gave me an advantage as a producer to enhance my music and take it to a more national sounding level. A lot of people don't even know I'm from Detroit by listening to my music. They they can never match me with Detroit. GB, where do you see yourself in five years? Five years, three Grammy Awards, a uh, couple platinum albums, um, transitioning over into the acting scene, but basically dominating the music industry. I got a new name for you. <coughs> Big <laughs> GB. Man, huh? Focus over here, man. That's awesome, man. A lot of young people don't have focus, man, you know, and they're all over the place. Yes, so this is your dream, this is my right? Dream. And you're following your dream right now to be the best. To be the best.